Hey guys, so today I'm coming at you guys with a new video. Today's video is just basically my March favorites and we are really stuck at home so I don't really have much to add. I have a few things but I already know that this video is going to be pretty short but I would like to talk about them anyway. So the first category is basically coffee, um, the longer coffee, I hope that's how you say it. But it's also referred to as cloud coffee and it's like an iced coffee latte type of thing. It's super easy to make and I already have all the ingredients in my kitchen so basically all you need is instant coffee, sugar, and boiling hot water, as well as any type of milk of your choice. I chose almond milk and then a bowl, a whisk, and ice. But for me, I actually froze milk the night before. So all you do is put equal parts sugar, instant coffee, and then the boiling hot water. You can add more sugar along the way if you do like your uh, coffee sweet. I do like my coffee sweet, so add more sugar. Make sure not to put too much water because if you do put too much water, it will be a lot more runny than like cloudy, I guess you could say, or like fluffy. And then all you have to do is just put all those ingredients together and whisk it. Um, you can use a power whisker, like a automatic machine whisker, but I don't have that so I had to hand whisk it myself and it doesn't take that long, just a few minutes of uh, really fast whisking and then you have to whisk and whisk and whisk, 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 whisk all the way until it's like a fluffy consistency and then when you're done that, all you have to do is get your jar or whatever and then put your ice and then you add all of the milk until your desired amount and then you just pour in the fluffy cloud coffee mixture and then bam. So the next category is games. You guys know this month something really big happened on the Nintendo fandom, I guess you could say. This game called Animal Crossing New Horizons came out and Animal Crossing is, is a pretty old game but like they always like make new updated versions of the games whenever they come up with like new um, consoles or whatever. But I personally never really grew up playing Animal Crossing because I never really had a Nintendo DS growing up. But <laughs> I was so jealous. I'm always scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on TikTok. I was so jealous seeing TikToks of Animal Crossing. I'm like, yo, this is so fun. I also even see it on like Twitter and stuff. I'm like, this looks so fun. I need to get this game. So we are in quarantine, aka I don't really want to go outside because if I get sick, I'm going to get sick. And I don't want to get anyone else sick and I just like don't want to risk anything. I really wanted to get the game, but like I had no way of obtaining it. It was like sold out online and I was just like, I can't get any game. I want this game. So I just remembered that the Nintendo Switch, they, they sell stuff at like Shoppers Drug Mart at the uh, Canadian like drugstore if you guys are not Canadian. And then my friend was working and then I was like, hey, do you guys have the Nintendo Switch Lite in your store? And then he was like, yeah, there's actually a sale and it's ending today. And I was like, the universe has spoken. So I sent him my, my money and then he got it and then he dropped it off at my house that same night at like 11 at night. No, not even 11, it was like almost 12, 12 at night. He just dropped it off and then left. And I was like, yay! Shout out to Jerome for being a great friend, oh my gosh. I got to the Nintendo Switch Lite and then on that night, I actually just downloaded Animal Crossing and I've been so addicted. I haven't really played that much today because I'm trying to give myself a break. I've only been playing for like, five days now I guess you could say or four days and my island is still really ugly it's fun it's taking over my life and I love it a lot so the next game that I will be talking about is also on the switch I think it's also on Steam as well but it's this game called Forgotten Anne and it is like an RPG story based game with two different endings so your decisions do matter in this game and I thought that it was really pretty it gave me like a lot of like anime Studio Ghibli vibes kind of the overall story was really nice I do I really recommend playing it. All I gotta say is Mr. Fig, what a great friend. Anyways, that's all. It's all with the games. Next category is webtoons. Webtoons, I haven't been really reading, but I think this month I'm gonna start reading a lot of new ones again and continuing my old ones I have not continued yet. But there are a bunch of webtoons that actually are going on hiatus because their season ended and I just wanted to shout them out really quickly. So Purple Hyacinth, you guys know if you watched my last Monthly Favorites video. Obsessed. Uh, but the ending to this season was so amazing. I was like, bro. I was like screaming, like I was like reading it and then like I was screaming on my way to my sister's room and I was like, oh my god, this or two. But yeah, I really recommend it. Um, catch up before season two starts. Next is Edith. 
Uh, Edith ended as well a while ago, I think a few weeks ago, and the ending of that season also got me screaming. Another webtoon, well it's not really on blind webtoon, but like you can read it on other sites, it's called Solo Leveling, and I'm actually not caught up, oops, I'm still not caught up, it's been a while, but I will catch up this month hopefully, I'm gonna check that out, and it's like an action based webtoon and it's like really 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 popular, um, so I really do recommend to read it. And then Siren's Lament, the season kind of ended, but not really, it's just that that the author is preparing for the finale finale because the whole series is ending soon and this has been such a long journey this webtoon has been going on for a couple years now and it is crazy i really love it a lot and i do really recommend it and then the next category is music and music nothing new really came out but one of my favorite most favorite like artists ever his name is lao and he came out with a new album a lot of the songs in the album were already released but he also released a so many new songs and stuff so i wanted to shout out my favorite songs from his album my number one most favorite song from the album is actually canada featuring alicia cara and i am not saying this because i'm canadian i'm saying this because the song is actually so good and i love it i feel like it's those song that one song that like i don't know you'll go on a drive and then like on the way home you'll just be like bawling your eyes out i don't know it's just like that type of song and i love that song so 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 much next song that i really like is sweatpants um i really like the lyrics and stuff and yeah i don't know i don't really have much to say and then invisible things i also really like the lyrics of invisible things because i think personally i do like the invisible things the things that make a person like their traits and stuff not like physically but like just who they are is like beautiful and i think this song is beautiful as well. And then we also have Who featuring BTS or JK and Jimin. I just really like the song, not only because BTS is in it, but I like the song because I feel like it's a different vibe from what BTS has to offer because I feel like BTS doesn't really do like romance songs that much anymore. They kind of mainly do like mental health, um, self-love. I also like Modern Loneliness and I feel like it's really relevant, especially right now during this quarantine. I think it's also really important to to reach out to like your friends and stuff. I know like sometimes I personally have like a hard time reaching out to people but I think it's really important to just to like remind your friends that like they matter and like that you love them. Um, my favorite like lyric from this song is actually um, love my friends to death but I never call and I never text. And then lastly is just a really random category with random stuff. So the first item is actually an Amazon purchase and it is this bed table and I love this bed table because um, at night, I like to work on my bed until I fall asleep. So, I got this table and I've been using it like every single day and I just love it a lot. I'll link everything down in the description below so you guys can check it out. But I love this table. Next is actually a gift that I got from YesStyle and we are on quarantine and even though you're in quarantine, it's really important to be protective and like stay healthy. So, YesStyle actually like my... My girl Hamel of me, yes, I love me. She sent me face masks. There was five, but I actually gave one to my mom. I'm gonna give the rest to my mom because she actually goes outside and she will need these more than me. But yeah, this is the bag that it comes in. It's so cool, I love it. And then the next thing that was in here is hand gel, alcohol based hand gel, and it's 70% ethanol and it contains ethanol with aloe extract. So this is like a type of hand sanitizer that I'm assume that is better for your hands because there is aloe in it but yeah we have hand sanitizer and then we have hand cream from nature and it strengthens the skin barrier by providing protective um film to the skin so i guess this is like just a protective layer for your skin and then there is vitamin c capsules and then this is more like um, vitamins and stuff like that and this is actually J-Hope! You're my hope, I'm your hope, I'm J-Hope. There you go. And then... I'm gonna show you my drawings from this month. Um, I actually had more but I sent it to my friend because he was feeling a little sad so I sent my friend some of my drawings. Um, but these two are my favorite ones actually. Um, so, and I did like this really cool style. It's, it's actually inspired by this other artist named Alo. It's this is Angle. I follow their webtoon called The Devil is a Handsome Man and or the way they color and stuff. I got a lot of inspiration from that. 
and the way I actually drew the stuff. I actually was inspired by something called closure and I learned it in school last semester. So yeah, so this is Killua and he's super cool or whatever. Super cool, whatever. There's him colored and then here is his outline. Here is the sketch. Hope you can see that. I had a lot of fun making this. I haven't done like original stuff in a while because I'm not that good at like making original drawings. I'm really good at like seeing something and then drawing it, you know? But I actually made my own drawing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already. And I took reference from one of my Instagram pictures from like last year. This is me. Um, anime version. I had a lot of inspiration from, again, closure. As you can see, there is like no line here, but it gives the illusion that it is connected and that is what closure is. And I also got like a lot of inspiration from 90s anime, so like Sailor Moon and stuff like that for the eyes and the face shape and just like the hair, just everything. I did like multiple versions because I really like how um, the ink looks. And then this is the sketch. The sketch was so messy because I like arranged it like a billion times i went over it a billion times but this is my original sketch so those are my drawings from this month hopefully next month i have a whole bunch more but lastly i have these really cool nike socks and they're actually reflective so you can see there's like a little flame here on both sides these are actually made by my friend from high school i'll link his instagram down below um so basically they're just like custom reflective socks and i thought these were really cool so i was like i'm gonna get some to support my friend so it's really hard to see your camera because it's like right over there but but yeah i'll just link that all in the description below um and i hope you check his stuff out and so that is all for my march favorites but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you you found new things that you want to try and read and listen to. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, wash your hands, social distance, stay at home. And if you do all this stuff, hopefully um, all this will end soon so we can have a summer of our lives. But let's just hope and do our part to keep everyone safe, you know, and ourselves safe. So yeah, that is all for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you.